Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am really excited because today I'm going to be planting up a terrarium. I already have the dirt in it. Um, I'll show you that here in a second. I went for kind of like a two inch, one and a half inch um, soil level, but I'm going to be planting up some succulents. And I wanted to make this a separate video than my last terrarium. This terrarium is from Fairsland, and I will include links down to it below. Um, but this is the other terrarium that we made. Uh, it's a carnivore terrarium, kind of. So I put all my carnivore plants in there, um, except for one I have out um, by my grow shelf. But I wanted to make this a separate video because I have kind of a fun idea with this little bird bath. And I'm not really a huge succulent person, or I am a huge succulent person. I'm not really a huge fairy garden person, um, but we had these just kind of lying around and I thought this bench would be super cute with this little bird bath and I think what I want to do is I want to plant seedlings and like little propagating babies up in this bird bath and place it in the terrarium. I just think that it's going to be really cute. So I wanted to make this a separate video because there's going to be a little bit more that goes into this one than went into the last one um, just because I'm going to be paying a little bit more attention with it. I feel more comfortable with succulents um, and they're fourth. So the other things that I have ready um, for making this terrarium are I have some pebbles. So I just have a bag of white and gray pebbles that I've used throughout different stuff. Um, and then I also have just a little thing of pumice. Um, and I think I'm gonna use this as the top dressing. Now, I just used some uh, cacti and succulent soil for this terrarium. Um, these terrariums are great because they're um, watertight and they're not, uh, they're not going to leak your water out so you can confidently water your plants um, in the spot that they're at. You don't have to bring them to a sink somewhere, or at least mine were watertight. So, you know, and you know, before you plant it up, you can test that by just pouring a little water in the bottom and rolling it around and see if it leaks. I've had other terrariums where the water just falls through and so you have to water those under a sink somewhere. Um, with it being watertight, you know, we are talking about succulents and for most beginners, you know, I always recommend that you um, plant in a pot with drainage holes and this is exactly the opposite. There are no drainage holes, um, but if you just water significantly less, you know, your succulents will be fine. Succulents don't need a ton of water. Um, you know, I've, I cut these a month ago and they've just been sitting here and they're all fine. Um, you know, I, I rarely water my plants. Maybe I would like to say I water every other week, but I'm qu quite honestly, they're, uh, maybe once a month they get watered. So the less you water, the better off your plants are going to do. Um, you know, if you're struggling to figure out the watering thing, I'll include some links down below to help you out. But essentially, if your leaves start to show signs that they're thirsty, so if they start to wrinkle, then that would be a good time to water. And only water a little bit until you kind of get a feeling for um, how much water your plants need. For me, it's really easy now because I've been doing this for years and can just throw water on without even thinking about it, um, and it will be correct. So, anyhow, let's go shopping under my grow light. Okay, so here are some of the succulents that I have, or most of them really. Right here are the cuttings that we took not too long ago. I'll probably be using a few of these in this arrangement. I also have this fun grass looking one um, that I think will be kind of a fun little addition. And then we have the little jewels and this Kalanchoe. Um, and this one's really pretty, it has, uh, I think it's called Aurora Borealis, but it has pink and blue tones in it. So both of those are really fun. But so let's see what else would be a good addition in here. Um, I probably will have to come pick more up later. These are all my bunny ear cactus. Um, my cacti plant fell apart and so I planted these all up. Um, and they all seem to be doing well. Now... <clears throat> Let's see. These are all my seedlings. So I'm thinking we'll come back here and grab some of these for the bird bath. This one's very similar to the Aurora Borealis that I had, so maybe we'll leave that one in here for now. Hmm. <clears throat> 
This one could be kind of fun. It'd be kind of like a little tree. I feel like I have a lot that are going to be tall. We'll just set them down for now. Um, I feel like I have a lot that are for, you know, height purposes, but I don't feel like I have a lot for the ground covers. Hmm. You know, this one could work. It's not my favorite, though. He's kind of muted. Um, I mean, he's a pretty succulent, don't get me wrong, but um, not my favorite. Well, you know what? Let's just get started, and then I'll come back here and pick them out if I find something I like or have an idea for. I'm thinking... I'm going to just lay down dirt. Um, I find with you know, planters without any drainage holes that my succulents actually do fine because I tend to water them a lot less, um, which is totally normal. I don't mind the look of dirt. Um, I know for like a lot of people, they try to put some other stuff down in their terrarium before they put down dirt just because they like the look of that better, but um, I don't mind the dirt being on the bottom. And then we'll put the top dressing on. So I'm just trying to keep this semi-clean and be careful putting it in there. I thought about putting in one of my cacti, but I don't think that's gonna happen. I don't think I'm able to put it in here without hurting myself physically, so. We're going to avoid that one. Um, I'm going to start and make this side the front, um, you know, with the little bench over here. I mean, we'll just set our big items up first so that I can kind of get a feel for how they should lay. All right, in the space that I'm working with. We'll just kind of make an indentation on where that's going to go. Um, so I think behind it, I want these guys. So I'm going to remove them. Um, let's see. You know, I might just honestly take them as, well, if you can clean off the roots a little bit, we'll do that. And I definitely want both. I want to kind of plant in little clusters. I think planting in little clusters is going to make this really pretty. So we'll put both of these plants back here. Um, I'm thinking this corner behind the, where the bird bath is going to go.
right, so here's the little baby bird bath full of the mini succulents. I'm going to put it right there where we've planned. I think he turned out pretty cute. Here is the final product. I think it looks pretty cute. We have all of the pebbles. This is just humidity from the soil I had recently watered so it wasn't completely dry yet. That will clear up and it'll just be the soil after a while. Um, then we have our layer of pumice and then I just kind of scattered a few pebbles throughout. Um, I think this is actually super cute. You know, we have the little bench. We have some nice height, some nice low pieces. I think these colors all work fairly well together. I tried to stick with kind of greens and blues throughout and then we have you know the little baby bird bath thing um, which has a bunch of different types of little succulents in it. I included some of the little jewel, some of the buttons, um, there's a moonstone in there, some Haworthias, um, the zebra Haworthia babies from my propagation video, um, and a little baby Lola. Um, burrow's tail, those sort of things are all included in there. I think the variety kind of made it, you know, a little bit different, kind of cute. Um, I love the detail of the bird bath, but um, yeah, I guess I don't know what else to exactly say about this. Um, in the back we have the lipstick succulents and some Lola's. Um, I tried to not do a ton in the back just because the main focus is the front, but I thought this turned out super cute. Uh, I know I'm going to get a lot of questions on the hot glue portion um, of the bird bath. So I glued in some pumice. Uh, the succulents will grow in there just fine um, as long as I keep watering them. They don't need a ton of nutrients. Um, so they will grow, but you know, I packed them in there fairly tightly, so this isn't going to be a permanent arrangement. I might try to keep the terrarium going, but I'll have to redo the bird bath every now and then, um, probably every couple of months, um, if I want to keep this growing that long. But I'll, at that point, all of these will need maintenance as well. And so for watering these, you know, same thing as it was in my carnivore video, my carnivore terrarium video, I'm going to be using a garden syringe. Um, and then you can just kind of get in the nooks and crannies and I'll be able to put it in the bowl itself and the pumice will help absorb that so there's no extra water. But this way, you know, you don't spray on the glass itself and get some water drops and more humidity. So, and then we can open the lid if we want, but I think I'm just going to keep it closed for now. But I think this turned out great and I'm so happy with it. Well, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I thought the bird bath was a really fun addition and that's why I wanted to make this a separate video because I knew that was going to be a piece of it and it just kind of ne needed a little bit more detail um, otherwise that first video would have been super long so go check out the description box down below I'll include links to the terrarium the um, other videos that I mentioned um, and any of the products that were you know shown in this video will be down there as long along with some other information but um you know, I had a lot of fun making this video and I think this just turned out gorgeous. So go check out those terrariums. They're the best ones I've been able to find. Um, so far, all my other terrariums leak and so not leaking is going to be huge with this. Um, and I just love the designs. They have a few other ones. Um, they didn't go with the style of my house exactly. So I wanted to stick with these ones because I thought they were very modern and um, sleek looking. But um I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, go subscribe to our channel, um, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.